Okay. We come to the most significant thing about all of this, of course, and that is the gastronomic argument. Why, in heaven's name, do we need to have poppy seeds in cooking? Again, my uh, research tells me that, in fact, it's a reasonably modern thing that people have gone back to using poppy seeds. I found an interesting, interesting little book called The Jewish Manual. Practical information in Jewish and modern cookery with a collection of valuable recipes and hints relating to the toilette. Edited by a lady, a facsimile of the first Jewish cookbook in English published in 1846. There is not a mention in here of poppy seeds. I have to tell you, there's a recipe here for Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> Heavens knows what that has got to do with the, the Jewish culinary art. But in any event, not a mention in here of poppy seed, only in the more recent book. And I'll take you to them in a minute. As good lawyers should do, you have to take people to the sources. Now, this book doesn't mention Purim either, I might say, which is a, uh, that's not a good thing. Um, more recent books do, and that, that, is, that is a good thing. But I, the more recent books at least give you the options to put for poppy seeds. This leaves them out altogether, but puts in extraordinarily unhealthy recipes. I just felt... I needed to tell you about this in case you don't know about it. And this has got nothing to do with poppy seeds at all, but it's incredibly unhealthy. This is called Haman's Fritters. And for all of you in the audience who like cooking, ignore this recipe. <laughs> for all of those of you who like to remain healthy and don't need a cardiologist, avoid this recipe. Haman's Fritters. Take two spoonfuls of the best Florence oil. Scald it and when hot, Mix it with one pound of flour, add four beaten eggs, and make it into a paste, roll it out thin and cut it into pieces about four inches square. And here's his rub. Let them dry and fry them in oil. The moment the pieces are put in the frying pan, they must be drawn up with two silver skewers into different forms according to fancy. A few minutes is sufficient to fry them. They should be crisp when done. Now there's the thing to pour in. Hummins fritters. Now... Oh, and the other, there's a fabulous recipe on the other side called egg marmalade. I really need to read this to you as well. Egg marmalade. This is unbelievable. Clarify one pound of sugar in half a pint of water until it becomes a thick syrup. While clarifying, add one ounce of sweet almonds blanched and pounded. Let it cool and stir in gently the yolks of 20 eggs, <laughs> which, which have been previously beaten and passed through a sieve. Great care must be taken to stir it continually the same way. When well mixed, place it over a slow fire till it thickens, stirring all the time to prevent burning. Some cooks add vanilla, considering the flavour and improvement. How about that? Cardiologists would be drooling. <laughs> now, the other thing I would say, and there's a family connection with all of this. My grandfather and my father were both involved in pastry cooking. My grandfather had a shop in Poland and he came to Australia uh, in the 1920s with my father who was then about 14 and when my grandfather died in 1944 my father took over the shop didn't really want to but he did oh the bill the bill already <laughs> there wasn't a poppy seed in sight how, how, how much longer have I got there wasn't a, there wasn't a poppy seed in sight in, in, in all of the recipes that I could find at my father's shops, in Carlton, St Kilda, Elwood, not a, not a poppy seed in sight, and enormous reputation these shops had for selling the best cakes, the best ingredients, no poppy seeds in sight. Now, there are a number of other things I needed to tell you. Very interesting fact about poppy seeds. I read in one of the American recipes that there are 900,000 poppy seeds in the pound. That's two million in a kilo. Can you believe that? And, and so you have a 35 gram packet, which I just have to have, have it in my pocket somewhere. 35 gram packet somewhere, and uh, I'll get it later. Here it is. 35 gram packet. There are 57,413 poppy seeds in there. <laughs> it's a bit of madness, but I mean it's an indication of how silly it is to have so many poppy seeds. You just, it, it's unrealistic to, 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 to use them in cooking. There's no, there's no value to them. You know, some recipes say they taste nutty. How can such a thing, small thing, taste nutty? Um, they add crunch. Well, who needs crunch? It's only embarrassing to the people sitting next to you. 
they, as I said before, lodge in your, in, in, in your, in your teeth. You're picking your teeth. Imagine going to a job interview and as soon as they, you're asked a question, you open your mouth and you've got probably seeds stuck in your teeth. I remember? <laughs> um, there are two things. Let, let me just finish with this. If you, if you need to use poppy seeds at all, it seems to me that they have to be used creatively. It's forget about the cooking, forget about consuming them and, and therefore indulging in opiates. Do two things. Either make yarmulkes with, with the Stars of David covered in poppy seeds. Very interesting. If anybody in, 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 interested in a good invention, there you go. The other thing is, I don't know whether Poppy King's in the audience here. I thought she'd be a relevant person to drag into this. Uh, poppy Seed King. I would have thought that she might be interested in a business where she could at least make multi-coloured poppy seeds. At least, therefore, they might have some utility because they obviously don't. They ought to be banned. And, uh, and, um, and uh, the, la the, the sooner we see the end of them, the better. Thank you very much. <laughs> to convince you otherwise, I now call on Justice Nathan. Madam Deputy, uh, Deputy Mayor Riley, Minister, Honourable Members, Rabonum, Altakakas, <laughs> and anybody else who happens to recognise that this is the seventh of Adar. This. C can you hear me without that thing there? This is a mobile phone. This is a mobile phone. This is a knife. In the event of any mobile phone going off, <laughs> this knife will be used on the poppy seeds of any offending member. So I start from a position of threat and anger to tell you what... What am I saying? That this should be banned or not? <laughs> that poppy seeds farming should be legitimated and made compulsory, uh, certainly for all young offenders who are sentenced to community work by His Worship the Magistrate. So much for their growing uh, other illegal substances, parsnips, carrots, and things of that nature in their backyard. Worshipful brethren and brethren and sistren, I have had recourse, you won't believe this, not to the internet, not to my mother and father, but to a book. And a book tells me this. Poppy seed, also known as papava, a genus of papaver papaversarii with two sepals. How wonderful. If you imagine if you only had one sepal. <laughs> but I'm glad to tell you that poppy seed plant has two sepals, which the good book tells me very soon fall off. This, of course, would be of no concern to Trevor Cohen in the audience here. His sepals have fallen off some time ago. <laughs> and they're now on sale at the South Melbourne market. You'll be, able, you'll be able to find them amongst the shoddy droppers in the far corner. Continuing with the definition. Four petals, numerous stamen. Well, I thought this is indecent. I, could you imagine not even the age tell, tells us that it has numerous stamens. But worse still, numerous stamens seated on a receptacle. Now, as you know, when you get to my age, you can never find a receptacle in the city of Melbourne. All the receptacles have been vanished and or else they're so sanitised that you open the door and you think you're going to heaven. Flush comes scent and perfume and so on. So enough of those movable receptacles, please, Madam Mayor. Well, it tells me 